Okay, so it's been like two years since the game was released, and for some odd reason now, it's now getting an official release date. So, wow, Pika Detective Pikachu. I first saw the thing, it was about like, I think around X and Y time, and everybody thought that it was going to be that when X and Y was coming out, that's going to be the next follow-up game. I remember that it was like breaking the internet and stuff like that, and... All I know is that it looked mad scary. All right, I'm gonna leave the link, the trailer, the trailer in the description because I'm not trying to get flagged or anything like that. Um, but oh, of course, give the video a thumbs up too. Of course, the hell is always. But really, it's just it's interesting because the game was announced I think like two years ago, and now we get the games announced. So we might potentially get three games this year. Uh, I say potentially three because Z is yet to be confirmed. Or whatever it's gonna be called, this is now confirmed. And there's Pokemon Go and there's Pokemon Tournament. Wow, good year for Pokemon, am I right? If they announce it, just as long as we don't even need to get Z this year, as long as you know, just an announcement. I know it's gonna be that guy being like, oh, he's talking about Z in a Detective Pikachu game, but I'm just having Pokemon in the future for 2016. But if you guys are enjoying, as always, thumbs up and let's talk now. So it says here, following the reveal of the professionals three years ago, so three years ago, is, okay, I guess. You know, now the Detective Pikachu game has finally been revealed as Detective Pikachu: Birth of a New Combination. It will be available on Nintendo 3DS eShop in Japan on February 3rd, 2016, for the 1,500 yen. It will be cheaper for 200 yen from January 27th to February 29th, 2016. It stars smug, talking, lovable Detective Pikachu. The game requires 800 megabytes of space. Of course, you know it's a good thing that they're putting this out before you want to digitally download it. Uh, it is listed the official site as Cinematic Adventure Game, with the official Nintendo site also listing it as a puzzle-solving cinematic adventure game. It takes place in Rhyme City, and you, the human character called Tim Goodman, <laughs> alright Tim Goodman, who has come to the city of a currently unknown reason. When he meets with Pikachu, the story begins. It is a one-player game, and has no online communication features. So... Yeah, it'd be a little weird for this game to have online. I mean, what could you do? Do, like, some weird quests? I could see quests, like, Mystery Dungeon, I think, quests, but, you know, Nintendo, they bought a BSS, and they're gonna do some, like, local stuff, but it's Pokemon, and Pokemon is, you know, almost always had online. They found a way to get around. Uh, so I don't really know what to say. All I know is that the game doesn't look that bad. Like, it looks visually beautiful, and, you know, at about time that we got it announced, so apparently I was wrong three years ago. It's two, three years ago. And there's no real English or European release date, just a Japanese release date for now. Uh, so actually, I have absolutely no idea if it's even coming to America, but I'm pretty sure that it is since Pokemon is so big, just universally, that's gonna come to America. Um, how will it do though? I don't know. It's a, kind of a different spin off because most spin offs have been Super Mystery or Mystery Dungeon, Rangers, uh, the ones on console games, XD Coliseum, and the main story games. All the other like side games, people never really gave a shot, like Pokemon Dash. Uh, Troze, Puzzle, you know, Shuffle, no one has really given them much of a shot, Pokey Park, all that stuff, like, not much people have actually given them a shot, and the main ones that actually did kind of sell, correct me if I'm wrong on this, that did, like, real good were XD Coliseum, uh, Mystery Dungeon series, Ranger series, I know because people will never forget about that, uh, personally, I just didn't enjoy the Ranger series, but, I don't know, maybe this is a new type of spin-off that we have for sure, and I think it's funny because Pikachu looks so weird. Like, he's just gross. Like, I'm not talking about the good beard. I'm talking about the bad beard. Like, he's gross. Like, he's got a hat. I don't know how I feel about the hat, but he's smirking with a marker. <laughs> or no, it's a magnifying glass. Yeah. <laughs> and this one with the hat finds, yo, I, this is the Pikachu that whooped the Meowth with the boots and hat. He destroyed that one and took the hat. That was an awful joke, and that's not funny at all. I'm so sorry. I will take that back. But really, I wonder how this game is going to do. I'm definitely going to get the game. I'm going to copy it, and you will see a day one playthrough if this game ever comes out in America or not. Uh, I'm not really going to go beyond the means to go get, oh, get a Japanese capture card and go beyond the means and do that. That's a little unnecessary, but uh, that's all the information that we really have for now. So kind of hype for this game, kind of not. Uh, nah. I'm not hyped for this game. It's just gonna be a game where I'll give it a shot and I'll see if I like it. That's really it. That is really it. Otherwise, I don't know what else to say and I guess that's really it for the video. But I'd like to know what you think of the game and are you gonna be purchasing it if it comes out to America or not? If you Japanese viewers are gonna purchase it, well, by all means, have fun. But I think the game looks visually appealing and it looks gorgeous. Like for a 3DS game, you gotta sit down and think about it. For a 3DS game, it looks kinda good and Pokemon is stepping up their trailer game. Cause if you look at the trailer, which is in the description, it's in the description. 
The trailer looks stupid good too. Like they made it like some type of real life Pokemon Go type of thing. I feel like they're gonna do that for all their trailers now, you know, but eh, we'll, we'll figure it out later on in the future if there's ever an announcement for another main story Pokemon game, which I mean, I'm pretty sure that there will be this year, but just an announcement is all that we really need, but yeah. So I'd love to know what you think about this game. Are you gonna get it or not? Is it worth it? Do you think that it's gonna last? How, how long do you think it will last? Um, but yeah, that's really it. So thank you for watching. I am Nexus, and I am out.